This week we're gonna show you how we test and price new crafts to sell. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, and make it? So do we. We have a new video each week. This week, this week, we're going to test and price a new craft item that we're going to sell. So we're going to go through the whole process of how we determine whether or not we can mass produce, mass is a loosely used term there, this for our typical craft shows and farmer's market. We're going to be doing a fall scarecrow porch leaner. There's a few steps involved, but can we do this repeatedly and take it to the farmer's market and craft shows each week? And still hit that price point that yes. our, our market is looking for. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Step one. We're going to gather our supplies and start tracking our cost. So what do we need for this project? Well, we're going to need our backer, our leaner. So we have a couple of options here and I wanted to show you what they are. So we like to use these little dog-eared fence pickets. These are the smaller ones. These are three and a half by four. So this is a, this is a four foot leaner, not a six foot leaner. And these are pressure treated, but I can't find them in stock anywhere in town. I can't we find just, them in stock. We just have the two. I did. I found the two in the back so I can go ahead and use these. But for price comparison, I'm going to go ahead and use this one by eight. This is a one by eight common board. Uh, we're actually going to purchase or have purchased a one by eight by eight and we're going to cut it in half. So we have two four foot sections. So a full one by eight is about nine dollars and eighty-eight cents. So half of a one by eight is four dollars and ninety-eight cents. Ninety-four cents. Close enough. It's close enough. <laughs> and then of course we've created our little MDF kit here. So we have our scarecrow eyes, nose, mouth, and the words fall to go with it. And we're into that whole kit for about seven dollars and twenty-five cents. So the actual materials was about three dollars and fifty cents. It took about 15 minutes to cut. I pay my laser $15 an hour. So 15 divided by four is... 3.75. 3.75. So we're in for a total of 7.25 so far on just the little face kit. But we also are gonna need some paints, um, some leaves, some accessories here. We're gonna need some ribbon for a bow tie. We're gonna use some raffia to make some hair. And some glue. But what we're going to do is we're going to track how much of each of these things that we use to make our project throughout the whole assembly process and at the end we'll add everything up and see what it actually costs. We're going to estimate it. I'm going to estimate how much paint I'm using. We're weighing it. I'm going to make you weigh every <laughs> ounce. It's pretty precise. We're pretty precise with this math. Yeah. <laughs> Step two. Time to make it. So this is where we're going to put it all together, but we're going to try to keep us honest on the time and only one of us will be actually doing the assembly, the painting and the gluing. Right. Typically for our videos, we will do this project together, but since we're testing how long it's going to take to make each of these, only one of us is going to do it because we don't always work arm in arm <laughs> just well, in our videos. Yeah. Well, I mean, we do a lot, but... <laughs> Sometimes we have to work independently. <laughs> so we're going to track that cost on how much it's going to take or how long it's going to take one of us to do it. And to figure out who's going to do it, we're going to rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I lose at rock, paper, scissors every time. All right, ready? Ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! <laughs> Kim will be doing the assembly. I will be doing the video. Better get to it. Let's get started. So the painting on this is gonna be pretty simple. I'm going to do half of him in orange and then we're going to add a little hat here. So uh, about 25% of him is gonna be in black and then I'm gonna do like a skin tone for a face. Well, face. And then I'll flip it because this is not a pressure treated board and we are using exterior house paint. I want to flip it over and paint the whole backside in black. Top, just to cut bottom, it. front, back, side to side. Just to seal it. <laughs> It's taken 15 minutes to paint what we've done so far, which is just our four foot board and our MDF pieces for his face and the word fall down the front. 
Next step, we're going to glue everything down onto the board. And we're just gonna use this Gorilla Wood glue. We typically use our Starbond glue, but for this kit, I think we could just use the wood glue and do everything with one glue. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, no... I guess I could use a Starbond too. I could do either one. I think wood glue will work just fine because it's a pretty flat board. There's no waves, no concave, no convex. And it's MDF wood on wood, so I think we're good. All right. With the expectation that the wood glue is a little cheaper? Yes, with the expectation that the wood glue might be a little cheaper. I feel like you can't do a scarecrow without adding some raffia, so you know he's a scarecrow. That's the only way I would know he was a scarecrow. <laughs> I purchased this four pack on Amazon and this full four pack was about $15. Yeah, you couldn't find any like onion bird sizes or something? <laughs> where, where am I missing? <laughs> This was $1.99, I got it on sale for a dollar, uh, and I'm gonna just use like two or three, so this should work for um, at least two of them. Step three, evaluate. So it's looking super cute, but was it worth it? Now it's time to look at our total time, total material cost versus our price point. So our total materials came in at about $15.20. I pay Kim $20 an hour, it took her 45 minutes. So that's about $15 that I owe Kim. <laughs> so our total cost is $30.20 for this whole thing. Now we typically want like a 50% margin on each of these. So we'll be looking at just about $45. Now we usually use a pricing calculator to come up with this so that we can tinker with the price a little bit, tinker with the margins. And we have that pricing calculator available on our website. I'll leave the link down below. It's handy, it'll tell you your profits, it'll tell you your new costs, and it'll even give you the price unrounded so you can tinker with it all you want. Yeah, and I'd say this is about $45. This is what we would charge. Yeah, that hits our price point. And it hits our was, time constraints. What was our total time? 40 minutes? For, about 40, 45 minutes. I know that I can do it. So first of all, this is my first run through. I know I can get that time down. And I know if I do two or three of them at a time, Batch I can do, out. yes. Yep. I can do three. I'm confident. You can do three in an hour. Yes. Yeah. I can do three in an hour. And... If I don't let you out of here, you could probably get up to four an hour. <laughs> Just, Just like sweatshop it. That's it. <laughs> no breaks. No, no breaks. breaks. And I mean, I used very little. Look how much of this raffia I have left. This is of the first bundle. So it's really a tiny little bit of materials yeah. to make this whole cute little stander. I think he's adorable. Yeah, I think it works out great. So we'll be uh, making a bunch of these to bring with us. Well, big thanks to all of our patrons. Thank you guys. You know we love you guys. And we had a great call just last night with like, a bunch of our $20 patrons. A bunch of people joined us. And, yeah, uh, we enjoyed our monthly call. We enjoy our monthly calls every month. We enjoy the participation, the conversation. Sometimes we talk a lot of business. Some yeah. talk, sometimes we talk less business. It all depends Last on how many stories. Last night was probably 50-50. We had a couple of stories, but then we also <laughs> talked business. We talked pricing. We talked about how other people do their pricing and what do they bake into their pricing. Some of them also bake in like booth fees, consignment fees, shipping fees, Etsy fees, things like that are third party type stuff. They like to bake into their pricing. Yeah, so if you have a small business or a side hustle where you're making products, you know, Patreon is a great place for you to join us on those monthly Zoom calls and get some free files, what, some 
some uh, free business advice, or yeah. at least how we do it. How we do it and how everybody else does it. Everyone is really great about pitching in. Yes. This is what I would do. This is how I do it. And then, you know, take it or leave it. I think it's a lot of great conversation. I do too. I love those things. Well, we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And don't forget about Test Cut Tuesdays. It's where we have a new design. And we kind of do the same type of thing. We see how long it takes us, how much paint does it take, and does, does the design actually work? So come visit us. Come talk to us live. We answer questions live then too. Oh, this is a lot harder with a pinched nerve in my shoulder. Yeah. Woo. I don't know if you guys could tell, but Garrett, Garrett can't move his neck right yeah. now. <laughs> so Kim did this whole thing.